Hello students, welcome to Sorosa classes. Today our topic is double integration and here some questions are given. So let's solve these questions. Okay, so our first question is integration 1 by x plus 1 root over 1 minus 2x minus x square dx is equal to. So we have to find out the value of this part at first and here four options are given and after solving this we will have to choose the correct option so now let's start okay so our sum is integration of 1 by x plus 1 root over 1 minus 2x minus x square dx so this is our sum and now let us assume that this whole part is equals to i now uh, putting putting x plus i is equals to 1 by t we can get that dx get we can get that dx is equals to 1 by t square dt now let me add a new page okay so now therefore therefore i is equals to integration minus 1 by t square dt divided by 1 by t root over 1 minus 2 into 1 by t minus 1 minus 1 by t minus 1 whole square that is equals to we are simply putting the values now this is equals to minus integration of dt divided by root over 2t square minus 1 now from this we can write minus 1 by root 2 we are uh, as this part is common so we are taking this out of the integration so minus 1 by root 2 integration of dt divided by root over t square minus 1 by root 2 square now from this again we can write minus 1 by root 2 cosec minus 1 1 by 1 by root 2 now again from this we can write minus 1 by root 2 root 2 divided by x plus 1 so this is our answer now let's proceed to the next question okay so here is our next question and the question is integration of root over t plus 3 plus uh, 8x minus 3x square dx is equals to and again we will have to solve this part and choose one of these four options which is correct one so now let's start okay so our question is integration of root over 3 
plus 8x minus 3x square dx. Uh, we are taking root 3 as common. Uh, I mean, this is a constant part. So, root 3 out of the integration. Now, integration of root over 5 by 3 whole square minus x minus 4 by 3 whole square dx. Now, uh, from this we can write uh, root 3 into half, uh, taking half uh, as common and then x minus 4 by 3 into root over 5 by 3 whole square minus x minus 4 by 3 whole square plus 5 by 3 whole square into okay uh, let me add a new page into sine minus 1 x minus 4 by 3 divided by 5 by 3 so uh, I'll repeat the last line again here. So this is root over 3 into 1 by 2 into x minus 4 by 3 root over 5 by 3 whole square minus x minus 4 by 3 whole square plus 5 by 3 square into sine whole minus 1 x minus 4 by 3 divided by 5 by 3 okay and close the bracket now from this we can write 3x minus 4 divided by 6 into 3 plus 8x minus 3x square plus 25 root 3 by 18 into sine to the power minus 1 3x minus 4 by 5. So uh, this is the answer which is in option C so option C is the correct answer okay now here is our next question Again, in this question, we will have to solve this part, integration e to the power x into 1 plus sin x by 1 plus cos x dx. And here, again, four options are given. So, at first, let's solve this uh, integration. Okay, our integration term is integration e to the power x 1 plus sin x divided by 1 plus cos x dx let us assume that the whole part is i now uh, this is equals to we can write integration e to the power x into 1 plus 2 uh, instead of sin x we can write 2 sin x by 2 into cos x by 2 we know this formula and instead of 1 plus cos x we can write 2 cos square x by 2 dx so we have done this because because uh, sin x 
is equals to 2 sin x by 2 cos x by 2 and 1 plus cos x is equals to 2 cos square x by 2. Okay, now, now uh, from this part we can write half of integration e to the power x into 2 uh, sec square x by 2 dx plus integration uh, e to the power x into tan x by 2 dx. Now from this part we can write that is equals to half e to the power x we are simply um, integrating this part with respect to dx so this as ex is constant so here is ex and after integrating this part 2 6 square x by 2 we can write it as 2 tan x by 2 minus integration ex 2 tan x by 2 dx plus we will integrate this part so again e to the power x will remain constant and tan x by 2 dx now from this we can write e to the power x tan x by 2 that is this part plus c that means constant so this is our answer